How to pass CCDE 400007 written exam. Tips and tricks. CCDE 400007 is an expert level exam. It is not a matter of a joke to pass this exam. But there are some efficient techniques to pass the exam on first attempt. We are here for helping you to pass the exam. The CCDE study guide is written and reviewed by CCDE engineers. It helps you improve and study your design skills and pass the CCDE exam. This book covers a wide range of technology, protocol, and design options and considerations that can be combined to create a new network. The exam topics are 1. Business Strategy Design 2. Control, Data, and Management Plane Design 3. Network Design 4. Service Design 5. Security Design If you are an already certified at the associate and professional levels, then it is very easy to understand the matter. Gain proficiency in a business-driven approach to designing enterprise, service providers, and data center networks. Design impact analysis of business, functional, and application requirements. There is the key topic for the CCDE 400007 exam. 1. Master a business-driven approach to designing enterprise, service provider, and data center networks. 2. Analyze the design impact of business, functional, and application requirements. 3. Learn from scenario-based examples, including converged enterprise networks, service provider networks, and cloud-based data set. 4. Overcome design limitations and fix broken design. 5. Review design options and considerations related to Layer 2 and Layer 3 control plane protocols. 6. Build designs that accommodate new services and applications. 7. Consider design options for modern campus networks, including network virtualization. 8. Design WAN Edge and Internet Edge blocks in enterprise networks. 9. Review the architectural elements of a service provider grade network. 10. Plan MPLS VPN network environments, including L2 VPN and LEMPN interconnect different networks or routing domains. 11. Design traditional, virtualized, and cloud-based data center networks. 12. Interconnect dispersed data center networks to protect business continuity. 13. Achieve appropriate levels of operational uptime and network resiliency. 14. Integrate IP6, multicast, goes, security, and network management into your designs. CCDE 400. 007 Sample Exam Question. 1. Which two pain points are the most common for container technology adoption? Choose 2. A. Compliance. B. Skilled staff. C. Cost. D. Performance. E. Security. F. Container deployment. 2. An existing wireless network was designed to support data traffic only. You must now install context-aware services for location tracking. Which two changes must be applied to existing wireless network to increase the location accuracy? Choose to A. Increase the access point density to create an average inter-access point distance of less than 40 feet or 12.2 meters. B. Fine-tune the radio configuration of the access point to have a higher average transmission power to achieve better coverage. C. Use directional antennas to provide more cell overlapping. D. Install additional access points in monitor mode where the co-channel interference would otherwise be affected. 3. An enterprise campus is adopting a network virtualization design solution with these requirements. It must include the ability to virtualize the data plane and control plane by using VLANs and VIFs. It must maintain an end-to-end -end logical path transport separation across the network. Resources available grouped at the access edge. In which two primary models can this network virtualization design be categorized? Choose two. A. Services virtualization. B. Edge isolation. C. Session isolation. D. Path isolation. 
E. Group virtualization. 4. Refer to the exhibit. A customer currently has a large EIGRP based network with several remote sites attached. All remote sites connect to the two corporate data centers, depicted as 10.1.1.0 and 10.1.2.0. The customer has experienced several network wide failures where neighbors were stuck inactive and had other network stability issues due to some links flapping. Which two redesign options increase network stability and reduce the load on the remote site Reuters, while still maintaining optimal routing between remote sites and the two data centers? Choose two. A. Increase the hold interval to accommodate lost hello packets on error-prone links. B. Perform summarization at the remote sites, selectively leaking routes sent to the data centers. C. Set the hello interval timer to be larger than the hold interval. D. Perform summarization at the data centers, selectively leaking routes sent to the remote sites. E. Set the data center Reuters as stub Reuters. 5. Refer to the exhibit. This company must connect five new remote sites to the network core of its corporate headquarters with path reliability. These remote sites run voice and data traffic. Two data centers are in the core. Which two virtualized network solutions can achieve the required goal? Choose two. A. Create an IPsec tunnel over a new point-to-point -point lease line directly from each remote site router to the data center Reuters. B. Use PFR to dynamically change traffic flows for forwarding frames and packets out of the remote sites. C. Deploy MPLS Layer 3 VPN. D. Use IPsec over GRE encapsulation with a DS3 line directly from each remote site router to the data center Reuters. E. Deploy MPLS Layer 2 VPN to interconnect the two data centers in the core to the remote sites. You can easily take training from 591 Lab to pass your CCDE exam 100%. We have 1. Certified and CCDE Specialist Teacher 2. Real Test Like a Simulator 3. Stable and Updated Study Material 4. 24-7 Online Support Service 5. Test Questions and Answers 6. Test Instructor Support Guide 591 Lab is providing you with the best online training for each professional certification. 591 Lab's all professional certifications links are in the description box.